Hey, I'm Sarah with Igniter Media, and today we're going to be talking about retitling Igniter title graphics with Photoshop. Retitling is the term we use when we're talking about changing the text in our title graphics. Now, today we're gonna to be specifically talking about Photoshop, but we also have other ways to achieve this. We've built out our PowerPoints so that you can change the text in them to put your own title in, or you can let us do the retitling for you by clicking Order Retitle on the product detail page. Let's jump in and we'll start with an easy one so we can talk about organization structure in our Photoshop file. So we're gonna start with the graphic Genesis. We have a consistent three folders that are in all of our title graphics that are title, alt, and lower third. Each of these have things that you can adjust, move around, uh, but specifically you'll find your editable text in the title and alt folders. So let's go ahead and go into the title folder. And there's our first uh, editable text labeled title. So let's go ahead and click on that. Now, we're missing the font um, for this uh, avant-garde extra light, so we can either go onto the internet and find a free version of this font, uh, at places like defont.com or others, or even finding a matching font that's similar enough, or you can use an, an option on Adobe called Match Font. So if you will close out of that and select your marquee tool, and then select the area that encompasses the type that you're wanting to match fonts with. Now go up to the top menu bar, cl click on type, and go down to match font, select that. And a list of fonts will populate, and from there we'll click on whichever one we want to choose. So I'm just going to use this fourth one from the top, looks great. Go ahead and click OK, and then OK at the very bottom. And now we have a font that we can edit. So we're going to change this title to creation. So go ahead and switch back to your type. And let's type in creation. Now, this title doesn't necessarily fit. So we're gonna go back into our layers tool, select that layer and switch over to our move tool. And then click on the transform box and we're gonna hold down shift and we're going to scale this down to fit in that text box that was already there. Just like that, center it up and then it will match up with that box. And uh, there we go. So we finished our title for this new graphic with creation. And you'll do the exact same thing with the alt uh, version where you go in and you now have the new type and you'll go in and change that. Uh, so that was an easy version of retitling, but let's do something a little bit harder. So we're gonna open Pool Party. So now we've already installed the fonts for this one, so you know how to do all the match font if you don't have them, so you can do that for this if you need to. So we're gonna retitle this one to say Summer Games. So let's go ahead and go in there, go into your title folder, and you'll see that there's actually a adjustment to each of these letters to vary their height so it looks like pool floaties. So we're just gonna go ahead and one by one, replace each of these characters. And then for these last two letters, we will go ahead and make it look similar by going into your character tab and adjusting the height of these in this line. So let's bring this one down a notch and then uh, we can move the other one down a little so it's not super even. And there we go, so summer's already done, and we'll go in and change the other one to games. And that's all ready, and that's done. So now we'll have to go in and edit a little bit of the mask, because uh, we're losing a little bit of the U here. So we'll go into your layers and click on water effects. And you'll see there's this little mask box, um, and what I want you to do is select that and then click B on your keyboard and that selects your brush. And now you can go and change any of the size of this. You can make it softer by changing the hardness so it's not super 
straight lines. It has a little bit softer look. And we're gonna change the brush to be a little smaller so we can get in there and do a little finer edit. So we'll go in and mask this part out. And we'll do this top corner so we get that shadow. So when you use black uh, in your selected mask layer, the black obscures the layer and the white uh, reveals more of the layer. So it's a way to edit that layer without actually going and deleting any of the information so you can go back and change whatever you need. So now let's go fix that S. And then the G. And we'll fix this little E up here. And now that looks pretty good. I think this is perfect for your summer games. If you have any tips and tricks for editing Photoshop files or retitling, we'd love to hear it in the comments below, as well as any questions that you have. The rest of our Photoshop files will be accessed here, and then you can click over here to subscribe. Thanks for watching and see you next time.